Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're talking about taking workspace information from one version of Photoshop to another. I've just installed Photoshop Beta and the workspace, in particular this panel here, is absolutely not what I work with. It just looks awful. It just is not working for my workflow. So I want to go and get the one that I had in a previous version of Photoshop. I don't want to have to reset this up, but that's just going to be very time consuming. So let's close down Photoshop and let's go and find the file that we're looking for. Now I'm suggesting that you go to your Windows search tool. I don't use Windows search because it doesn't work for me the way I want it to. So what I'm going to do is just use the tool I use, which is called everything. So what I'm looking for is all my PSW files. And having found them, I'm just going to make sure that they are sorted in date order. And so a lot of these PSW files actually come from Photoshop, but this one is mine and it's the most recent one because they're sorted in order. So what I'm interested in is where it is and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to put it in the location for the new Adobe Photoshop Beta. So in this application, I can just right click the file name and just open the path. So what I really want is this folder. So here is the folder and here is my file. So what I'm going to do is just right click it and copy it. Now I'm going to where the Photoshop beta is. So I'm interested in something that's going to say Adobe Photoshop beta at this point and then beta settings. And this is the thing that we need to watch out for because at the moment it says workspace is modified. But if you put it in workspace is modified, doesn't actually work. So I'm going to go back to the thing that doesn't relate to Photoshop 2023, which is this Adobe folder. So I'm just going to click on that. You can see here it's giving me access to all my Adobe settings. So I'm going to my Photoshop beta, double click on it, double click on beta settings. And here is our workspaces modified. But as I said, if you put it in here, it's not going to work. What you want to do is put it into workspaces. So let's double click on that, right click and paste in our workspace. So now I'm going to close this, close my search tool and let's restart the Photoshop beta. So I'm going to open up a new file and this bar here has not changed. Well, we don't expect it to change because it's just still using the settings that it was using previously. But if I click this drop down here, you can see here is my graphic design for lunch. And when I click it, my application looks pretty much the way I want it to look. Now there's a little bit of work to do on it here. And if I clean it up and make a few minor changes to it, then I can just come up here and just choose new workspace. There's no tool for updating the workspace. Just be aware of that. You have to create a new workspace. So all I'm going to do is call it exactly the same thing as the old one was. When you type the name for your workspace, you'll know that you've got the exact same name as you used previously if you're prompted that it already exists and you want to replace it. So I'm just going to say yes. And now if I was to close Photoshop Beta and reopen it, all of these tools are going to appear exactly as they are here. So that PSW file is your workspace file. Back it up if you're concerned you might lose it. And you can easily copy and paste it into any new version of Photoshop to have your screen set up inside Photoshop the way you're used to having it set up. I hope this is helpful to you. If you like carefully researched content like this, clearly presented in a step-by-step -step format so that you can get great results, then you'll love my Skillshare content. I'm a Skillshare top teacher. I have hundreds of short courses on Skillshare that you can access along with thousands of other great courses, all for the price of a single subscription. If you're interested, there's a Skillshare coupon for you in the description below to use to sign up. Using this coupon benefits me as a creator and it helps me continue to make free content available here for you also on YouTube. Thank you for joining me for this video tutorial. On the screen now you'll see a video that I've handpicked for you. If you enjoyed the video you've just watched, I know that you're going to really enjoy the one I've picked for you to watch next.